So it's just now 5.30, so we're gonna get started. Do not cue your music yet. So just hold off on your music. I'm gonna chit chat for just a little bit uh, before we get started. If you have a blanket, you can fold a blanket like this and have it on your mat. And sitting on the edge of the blanket puts your hips a little higher than your knees. So it's actually a little more comfortable. So we're gonna start seated today. And just so come to a comfortable seat. And arrive on your mat. And if you would like to close your eyes, close your eyes. Just giving yourself a moment to land here on your mat in your practice. You know, I'm not sure how many of you are experiencing a wide range of feelings from anxiety to worry, um, uncertainty, fear. I know that in the last month, I have experienced my share of all of those. And oftentimes when I'm in the little bit of the chaos that my mind creates with all those feelings, I find my way to my, med my meditation cushion, which is this little heart back here, if you can see it, this thing. Um, and I sit in meditation. And sometimes when things are really crazy and I have a hard time getting still and silent, I'll work on envisioning. And my favorite place to envision a meditation is the beach, where else? And so, you know, I will often envision the ocean and the waves coming in and the warm sun and I'll just, my mind will just sit in the sand on the beach. And sometimes I'll even envision a surfer riding the waves and it just relaxes me. And recently in one of those meditations where I was doing just that, it came to me to share this with you because there's so much that we can learn from a surfer. And um, I wanted to share that with you before we start. The surfer, he paddles out against the waves again and again, and he positions himself and he waits patiently, allowing the ocean to be the ocean. And he rests and he's waiting patiently and he's studying the water, but yet he's ready. He's ready for opportunity. And he finds his wave and he takes his ride. Close your eyes, envision it. He takes his ride. And there's an agreement that the surfer has with the ocean and it's an agreement of acceptance, of trust. And so that he can experience being with the ocean and enjoying his ride, not forcing an outcome, just feeling the water and letting the ocean be the ocean, moving with it, respecting it. And we can learn a lot from a surfer, applying this type of patience and acceptance to our current situation, relaxing with what is, and living more in a state of grace, of ease and flow. And so today, I invite you to bring some grace and ease as you flow on your yoga mat. Patient like the surfer, enjoying the practice without any attachment to an outcome, but to feel the asana, breathing and moving with it. So I ask that you do that with me today as we begin our practice. If you have your Spotify playlist ready, Go ahead and click on the first song and begin your music. Um, it, this practice is really cool with music. If you don't have the music, that's fine. You don't need it. Um, but I designed this practice today to be with the music. So cue it up and let's get started. We're gonna come right here seated. Inhale your arms up, reach up. Exhale, let them fall down. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Curl the shoulder blades down and back, blades, blades together. Look up, inhale, 
Exhale, bring your arms forward, round it out for a seated cat, chin to chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands float down behind your back, interlace. Shoulder blades together, shoulders down, heart lifted, inhale. Exhale, release, bring those arms forward, round it out, seated cat, belly to spine, chin to chest. Arms up. Exhale as you twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come center. Exhale, twist to the left. Lengthen on the inhale. Twist on the exhale. Inhale, center. One more time, both sides. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come center. Exhale, bring your right hand down and bend. So keeping your sits bones on the blanket, bend as you stretch and reach, lengthening the left side body. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend now to the left. Reach, lengthen, and come center on the inhale. Exhale, bend to the right. Oh, this feels so good. Inhale. Exhale. Come back center. So I am diffusing some essential oils, and I have some thieves oil and lemon. And with our home practices, you know, you can get in the habit of bringing a diffuser near your yoga mat, and it really makes you want to inhale. It really makes you want to fill up with breath when you're breathing in those essential oils. One of my favorite blends is peppermint with lemon and a little bit of lavender. Those three together are fabulous. Anyway, so I'm, I have my diffuser going. Okay, we're gonna stretch the neck. So lift your chin up, take your head back. Now, if you have any neck issues, you can support your neck by cradling the crown of your head, but look up. Take the chin all the way up to the ceiling. Look up. Open your mouth even. Open it wide. Wiggle the jaw. And then bring it slowly back. Bringing your hands behind your head, interlace. And then gently as your chin comes down to your chest, using your hands to push gently on the back of the head, lengthening the back of the neck and stretching. And it might even work its way down the spinal muscles of your back, depending on how much tension you have there. Stretch the neck. And gently come up, release. Bring in your right hand and bring in the right ear down to the right shoulder. Now, the, this is the important part. Take the left hand and push it away from you. So as you pull the right ear to the right shoulder, take the left hand like you're trying to reach something away from you. So now you'll feel the stretch and not just your neck, but also in the tops of your shoulder. Deep breathing. And release. Other side. Mm. This goes all the way across the top of my shoulder. It feels so good. Gently release. Great. Coming onto all fours, remove your blanket so you can set it aside for later. All fours. Inhale, drop the belly cow. Exhale, round it out, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. 
adding on a little bit of flow here. Inhale, cow. Exhale, push back, child's pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, child's pose, sit back. Inhale, come up. Cow pose, drop that belly. Exhale, round it out, chin to chest. One more time, inhale, cow. Exhale, push back, child's pose. Child's pose. Walk your fingertips out in child's pose. Lift up the elbows and the forearms. Now pulling the shoulders away from your ears down your back. Walk your hands to the right as far as you can. Walk them to the right, especially that left hand. You can even shift your hips over to the left heel a little bit. Stay low. Again, inhaling, creating space on the left side body. Back to center. Walk your hands now to the left as far as you can. The hips can shift over toward the right heel. Deep inhales. And then bring in your hands back center, child's pose. Spreading those fingers wide, lifting up, pushing your hips back, downward facing dog. And then bending one knee, lengthening through the opposite heel, walk your dog. Inhale, rise up on the balls of your feet. Exhale, sink the heels down to the mat. Downward facing dog. Your gaze is between your feet, pushing that chest closer to the thighs. One more breath in. As you exhale, walk your hands back to your feet. The feet are under the hips. So not together, rag doll, holding on to the opposite elbow, folding over your legs with a bend in the knees so that the chest can rest on the thighs, hanging heavy, forehead resting on the forearms, rag doll. Two more breaths. Releasing the elbows, walking your hands back out, down dog. From downward facing dog, raise the right leg up in the air, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up at the hip. So you're bringing the foot close to the glute, lift the knee, spread the toes, Square the chest, push your hands into the mat, bring your chest closer to your thigh, open, open. Extend the leg back out, three-legged dog. Breath in, breath out. Bringing that foot to the top of your mat as you come up gently into a low lunge, right here, right here, low lunge. So the knee is over top the ankle, not past it. So knee stacked right on top of the ankle. Hips are coming forward. Now bring the arms into the pose, lift them up, look up, low lunge. We're going to flow. So inhale, exhale, float the hands down, push back, half split. 
Drop the foot, inhale, arms up. Low lunge, exhale. One more time, inhale. Bring the hands down, push back. Half split, fold over. Let's stay here, an extra breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Plant the foot, come up, low lunge. Inhale, lift, look back, bring the hands down, push back, half split. So this is a deep hamstring stretch here. Fold over, half split. Come back up, arms up, low lunge. Breath in, breath out. Bringing your right forearm to your thigh as you now bend to the right. Hips are still coming forward. So this is getting deeper into your hip flexors and even your psoas muscles. So hips forward and bend. Breath in, breath out. Both hands to the inside of your front foot, making our way into lizard pose. You're welcome to leave your hands here. You can use a block or make your way all the way down onto your forearms for lizard. That front foot is pushing into the mat, grounding in your front foot. Chin is forward, lengthening in this lizard. Breath in, breath out. Again, inhale. Exhale, using your hands, push up, curl your toes under, lift up, and step back, down dog. Downward facing dog. Raise the left leg up in the air, lift it, open the hip, so bending the knee, Spreading the toes, stacking the hips, squaring the shoulders, pushing your chest back to your thigh, mm. and then three-legged dog. Bringing that foot forward to the top of your mat as you make your way up, low lunge low lunge. So gentle at first with your hands on your thigh. You're welcome to stay here. Again, knee over the ankle and then bring the arms into the pose. Lift up, look up. And bringing that flow. Hands down, push back, half split. Plant the foot, come up, low lunge. Breath in. Hands down, half split. Staying here, an extra breath. Inhale, exhale. Plant the foot, rise up, low lunge. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Hands down, push back, half split. Coming back up into your low lunge. So lifting up, leaning back, hips are forward, low lunge. Bring the left forearm down as you bend now to the left. Ooh, get deep into this stretch. Ooh, it feels so good. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. If you've been sitting a lot, you're really gonna feel this in your hip flexors. So breathe into that. And then bring in your hands down to the inside of the front foot for lizard pose. Chins forward. Now, if you need to rock out on the outer edge of this front foot, you can to open the hip more. Or you can ground down through all four corners of that front foot. Push it down and then pull that knee into the shoulder. Pull it in, hug it in, lengthen. Lizard pose. One of my favorite 
hip stretches, lizard pose. Using your hands to push up, curling the toes under, lifting up, stepping back, down dog. Breath in, breath out. One more time, inhale, exhale. Walking your feet now to the top of your mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, fold. Root down as you rise up, reach overhead, extended mountain. Inhale, exhale, grab your left wrist, bend and crescent moon. Inhale, grab the wrist, bend, crescent moon. Inhale, come center. Exhale, fold from the waist all the way forward, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Inhale, exhale as you lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale, lift up, cobra pose. Shoulders are down, so no, not this, this. Shoulders down and back. Curl the toes under, push up, down dog. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale. Fill up, exhale, empty. Bring your feet forward, halfway lift, fold. Root down, rise up, reach, extended mountain. Exhale, bend right. Inhale, exhale, bend left. Inhale, exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Inhale, exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. One more time, fill up. Exhale, empty, feet forward. Halfway, fold, rise, crescent moon, extended mountain, crescent moon, extended mountain, fold, halfway lift, step back, high plank, inhale, exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. One more inhale. Empty, feet forward. Halfway lift and fold. Root down, rise all the way up. Hands down through your heart center with a smile on your face. Mountain pose. Mountain pose. <clears throat> Even though this is a gentle class and I have not yet said the word chaturanga, I'm sweating. Coming into your mountain pose, ground down through the right foot Bring your arms out to the side, airplane arms. Send the left foot back, airplane pose, three breaths. Chest lowers, leg lifts. One more breath. Gracefully landing that back foot, coming up into crescent lunge. Arms up, gaze up. Sink a little deeper. Breathe in. 
exhale, bring your hands down, step back, high plank and hold it for five, four, pull the belly up and in, three, two, one, lower all the way down to your belly, inhale, come up into cobra, exhale, push back, downward facing dog, breath in, breath out, inhale, fill up, exhale, empty, feet forward, halfway lift, fold, rise up, hands through your heart center, mountain pose, ground down through the left foot, airplane arms, airplane pose, three breaths, Landing that back foot, coming up into crescent lunge. So you're on the ball of your back foot. From the pit of your belly, lift up, look up. Maybe even lean back. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, step back. High plank for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down to your belly. Push up Cobra, down dog. Breath in, breath out. Fill up, empty, feet forward. Halfway lift, fold. Rise up, reach, hands down through your heart. Mountain pose. <clears throat> Moving on to a dancing flow. We're gonna add on to that and we're gonna get really flowy. Ground down through the right foot. Airplane pose. Sending the left foot back. One more breath. Drop the back foot gracefully. That wasn't so graceful. So on the ball of your back foot, arms up, crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale as you open up into warrior two. So dropping that back foot, front foot, toes are pointing forward, warrior two. Inhale, rise up, straighten the front leg, look up. Exhale, sink. Flow with it, move with it with your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Stay here, one breath in and out. Inhale, recline. Exhale, modified extended side angle. Inhale, recline. Modified extended side angle. Inhale, recline. Exhale, extended side angle. Stay here, one more breath. Bringing your right hand down, straightening the front leg as you open up into triangle pose. If you have a block, you can have it under your right hand. Triangle pose. Another one of my favorite poses. Bringing the left hand down. Pivot both sets of toes forward on your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold into pyramid pose. So again, we're stretching this hamstring. As our front leg is straight, knee is soft but straight. Folding over into pyramid pose. And then stepping up to the front of your mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, fold. 
Rise all the way up, reach extended mountain. Hands through your heart, mountain pose. Grounding down now through the left foot for airplane pose. Landing the back foot, coming up, crescent lunge. Opening up, warrior two. Warrior two. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, exhale. One more. Hold it one breath. Inhale, recline. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, recline. Exhale, extended side angle. One more time. Inhale, recline. Good, sitting deeper in that front knee. There you go. And then exhale, extended side angle. Stay here, one breath. Inhale, exhale. Opening up, triangle pose. Scan your body. Notice if there's any tension anywhere you're holding and let it go. Breathe in deep. Exhale, release. One more breath in. Exhale, your right hand down, pyramid pose. Lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Pyramid pose. Cooling the belly in. One more breath. And then stepping up to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Rise all the way up. Reach overhead. Hands down through your heart center. Mountain pose. Coming wide legged on your mat. So your feet are parallel to the edges of your mat. Toes may be in a little. Hands on your hips. Inhale. Exhale as you hinge forward from the waist, folding all the way forward into a wide leg forward fold. Yogi's choice to do whatever feels good here. You can lunge if your legs want to lunge. You can also bring your arms behind your back, interlace the fingers. Pull the shoulder blades together and lift the arms. Gaze up between the legs. Releasing your hands down to the mat and stepping back into a high plank. High plank. Now flowing again here, drop your right knee down pivot, lifting up into extended gate pose, and then coming down, lengthen through the foot, and come back up, extended gate. Two more times, dancing with it. Come down, reach, come up, arch the back. One more time, down, reach, Come up, arch the back, extended gate pose. Bringing your hands down as you pivot back, high plank. And on to the other side, drop the left knee, pivot, open up, extended gate. Coming down, reach for the foot, swoop up, arch the back. Come down and reach. Swoop up, arch the back. One more time, down and reach. 
swoop up, arch the back, bringing your hands down, high plank, drop the knees, push back, child's pose. So taking a rest here in child's pose, letting the hips sink back to the heels, From child's pose, pushing yourself up. Make your way all the way down to your belly. So on your belly, bringing your hands next to your chest and elbows not out, but in. So elbows in. Inhale, push up, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift at the cobra. Exhale, lower. Three more times, keeping those shoulders away from your ears. The inhale brings you up. The exhale takes you down. Last time, inhale. Push back, child's pose. Counter stretching the back in child's pose. From child's pose, curling your toes under, making your way into downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale. Bringing your feet to the middle of your mat and to the width of your mat. And then bringing your hips down as you settle into malasana. It's a deep yogi squat bringing those elbows to the inside of the knees and pushing those knees out. Again, just revisit your breath. Notice that the mind is wandering and just bring it back to this moment right here at this time and place together in our practice and community. One more breath. Bringing your hands down, dropping onto your bottom for bridge pose. So we're gonna make our way to our back for one bridge, one bridge. So on your back, feet hip width close to your bottom. Arms beside you, palms down. Lifting the hips up. Bridge pose, five breaths. You have an option to bring the hands underneath of you, curling the shoulder blades under, pushing up a little higher, chin up. One more breath here. And come all the way down, bringing the feet together and the knees out wide for Supta Baddha Konasana. Supta Baddha. So really pushing the feet together to help bring these knees out and down. Closing your eyes. Taking a deep inhale, setting the breath to the belly. Bringing those knees together, pulling them lovingly into your chest. Mm. Pull them in, rock side to side. Make some circles on the ceiling with your knees. Switch directions, massaging the lower back. reaching for the outer edges of your feet, coming into happy baby. 
happy baby pose. So pulling those knees into your shoulders, into your armpits. An option to rock side to side. Happy baby. You're really working on keeping the hips on the mat and not lifting them. So ground down through your sacrum. Releasing the feet with your hands behind your knees. Rock up and back. Rock up and come to your seat. <sighs> if you need a drink of water, take a drink of water. <sighs> okay, so we're going to build cow face legs. So this is a little tricky. You're going to bring your right knee forward. So right foot all the way up under your hip and then take the left knee, stack it directly over top the right so that the knees are now on top of one another, sit up tall. So this is what we call cow face legs. I don't know why. Dancing again here, inhale the arms out to the side, exhale, bring them forward, round it out. Inhale, exhale, three more times, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. You can even wrap them around. Inhale and exhale, inhale, come up and change the legs. So the left knee's on the bottom, the right knee stacked directly on top. Sit up tall, inhale the arms out, exhale, round it out. Inhale, take deep inhales, long exhales, round it out. Inhale, exhale, two more. And then come out. Oh, feels so good. So bringing one, your right foot into your left thigh and the left leg directly out in front of you. So <clears throat> folding over to a one-legged forward fold. And that playlist that I shared with you is a dancing flow because we're going to dance this. We're going to come up. Take the right hand behind and lift up, arch the back, come down, and bend. One more time. Come up, lift up, and down, and fold, reach and fold. Walking up slowly, switching legs. Your body's going to feel so nicely stretched from head to toe after this is over. Folding over that right leg, reach and fold. Coming up, plant the hand behind you, lift up, arch the back. Come down and fold. One more time. Come up, lift up, and down, fold. Coming up and both legs outstretched. Both legs. Flex the feet. Inhale. Exhale, chest forward, fold. Walk up. Bring your hands behind you, fingertips forward, lift up, reverse plank.
come down, hinge forward, reach for the feet, fold. Use your hands to walk up, take your legs wide-legged. Now, if you have the blanket handy still, you can sit again on the edge of that blanket. <clears throat> and that helps bring that pelvic tilt of your hips forward. So what I don't want to see is you slumping back like this. I want you to be on the edge of a blanket or even all the way down on your mat legs as wide as you can, and then bring the hips forward. So finding this pose first, to give you a couple breaths to get there. Sitting on the edge of a blanket really helps. Okay, we're going to flow and dance again. Inhale. Exhale, flow over that right leg, reach. As you come up, bring the left hand behind you. Lift up, stargazer. Bring the hips down, flow over that right leg, fold. Come back up, left hand goes behind you as you lift up, stargazer. Bring the hips down and fold over that right foot, right leg. And make your way back up. We'll do the left side. Inhale, exhale, fold over the left leg. As you come up, plant the right hand, lift up, stargazer, reach and lower, fold over the left leg. Come up, plant the right hand behind, lift, stargazer. Come down and fold over that left leg. making your way back up, wide-legged. <clears throat> Walk your hands forward. Come on, walk them forward. Bring the forearms down to the mat. Gaze in front of you, so chin forward. So we're really getting a deep stretch on the insides of these legs here. All right, here we go. Inhale, exhale, walk the hands more forward. Inhale, exhale, bring the forehead down to the floor. Slowly pushing up, walking up. Ah. Bringing those legs back in front of you. <clears throat> Taking the left foot, putting it in the crease of your right arm. Rock the baby. So you're really hugging this leg in, stretching that hip. Rock the baby. Taking the bottom leg, it can be outstretched in front of you, foot flexed and grounding down through that leg might feel a little better, really pulling the shin into that chest. Bend the front leg, place that foot on the thigh, hands behind you. Walk your hands in towards you. So this is your version of half pigeon today. This is a seated half pigeon. I can show you what that looks like sideways. So the foot is lined up with the glute. I walk my hands in, sit up tall, deep stretch in my hip. Walk the hands back, gently come out, release, 
rocking the baby on the other side. Right foot, left arm crease, rock the baby. Bringing that left foot in to cross that ankle, lining the hips up with the foot, walking your hands in, flex the foot, sit up tall, seated half pigeon. Coming out, walk your hands back, gently come out. If you've used your blanket, remove your blanket, toss it aside. And then making your way all the way onto your back into waterfall pose. And we have enough time, I believe, to do some leg stretches with a strap. So if you have a strap or a belt, I'll come sideways. So waterfall pose, like here. So the feet are flexed, pulling the toes down toward the shins, lengthening through the heels. Take your strap on the right foot, hold it in the right hand, lower the left leg all the way down to the mat. Now pull on your strap. So really, again, we're stretching this hamstring. We've done a lot of stretches in this class. Your hamstrings have been nicely stretched. So this is one final hamstring stretch. Now holding on to that strap, let that leg fall out to the side. Opening this hip. Now keeping the hip down on the mat. So keeping the hips all the way down, let this leg fall out to the side. Pulling on the strap, pulling the toes up towards you a little more. Bring the foot up, taking the strap with your left hand, bring that leg across just a little. Now you'll start to feel the stretch in this IT band. So pull the foot towards you and over. So being careful not to rock all the way over, you wanna keep the hips grounded on the mat, just the leg. Bring it back center, remove your strap or belt, come all the way down. Waterfall pose, strap on the left foot, lower the right foot down all the way, holding onto the strap with your left hand, pull the leg up towards you. Keeping that connection to your breath as you breathe in and out through your nose. Close your eyes. Letting that foot now fall out to the left, opening this hip. As you lay here on your back, taking this stretch, maybe you're outdoors, or maybe you're inside on a soft carpet. Wherever you are, envision yourself in the sand. the warm sun, bringing that foot back up, holding the strap with your right hand. Now keeping the hips on the mat, take it up and over to get that IT band stretch. Ooh, this one's a little tighter than normal for me. Ooh. Bringing it back center, removing your strap. Hugging your knees into your chest, pull them in tight. Rock side to side. <clears throat> Bringing your legs outstretched and your arms overhead. Inhale for a full body stretch. 
As you exhale, pull your right knee into your chest. And now taking that right knee over to the left side for a supine twist. Gaze to the right. Come back center. Inhale, full body stretch. Reach. Exhale, bring the left knee into the chest. Hug it in. Bringing the left knee now to the right for a supine twist. Take your gaze to the left. Come back center, pull your knees into your chest one more time. Pull them in tight. Maybe even lift your head up, bringing your nose in between your knees, just curling up into a ball, giving yourself a hug, loving yourself, hugging yourself. And then take a deep inhale in, tighten everything, exhale, let it go. Come all the way into Shavasana. Take your legs outstretched, your feet out wide. Bring your arms beside you, palms facing up. Work on bringing those shoulders down out of the ears, away from the ears. So if you've got to wiggle a little bit in your Shavasana, wiggle. And as you relax in your Shavasana, softening your forehead, Softening your eyebrows, softening your eyes, softening the jaw and the tongue. And as your awareness works its way all the way down your torso, down your arms, down to your hips, and all the way down your legs to your feet, release any tension, any tightness, let it go and completely allow yourself to relax and soften, sinking into your mat, Shavasana. Slowly beginning to wake up, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Bring movement into your wrists and your ankles. 
putting a bend in your elbows and a bend in your knees, pulling those knees into your chest one more time, making your way onto your right side into the fetal position, and slowly, when you're ready, coming up to a comfortable seat on your mat, back to where you started. Tall through your spine. Pull the shoulders up, roll them back and down. And do that one more time, up and down. Take your head, roll it left and right. Bring your arms out, bring them forward. Just notice the pliability and the flexibility in your limbs and your back. Maybe a little bit more softness throughout the body, maybe even through your chest or your throat. Sitting here in a comfortable seat, allowing the work of your practice that you did today to follow you off of your mat when the real work of yoga begins, the hard work of yoga, living your practice off of your mat, applying yoga to your life, and inviting the work that you did, the ease and the grace that you had on your mat this last hour, bring that ease and that grace into the remainder of your evening, into the remainder of your week. Make that an intention to be more like a surfer, how he allows the ocean to just be the ocean, waiting patiently with acceptance and trust, waiting for his opportunity to ride his wave. As we wait out our current circumstances with acceptance and trust, allowing this world to be just what it is, but bringing with it that sense of grace and ease with your hands at your heart center, your eyes closed, your head bowed. I'm so humbled to be your teacher, I'm so honored. Thank you for practicing with me from my heart to your heart. Namaste. Thank you guys. I hope you loved your class. Please feel free to make lots of comments. Share this group page with any of your friends, invite them in, and if you, um, want to call me, text me, talk to me. Um, I'm here. I'm here as a friend. I'm here as a yoga teacher. You need some help with meditation. I'm here to help you with that. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Again, thank you for practicing with me. Ciao.